I don't know why I'm yawning because I'm not tired. Ooh. I woke up at 6.30 without an alarm this morning. I had an alarm set for like 7.15, 7.30, but I woke up before that, bright and early. So I'm pretty proud of that. I did fall asleep around 11 last night. It was a pretty early night for me. Yesterday was really fun. I went and played pickleball for two hours with my skating coach and then we all went to lunch, two of my coaches and me. So it was really nice to have a catch up before I leave for my contract. I cannot believe. It's approaching real fast and I have been, since we got back from our cruise, I've been making it a priority to prepare myself for rehearsals. So obviously before a contract, you have to pack your bags, you have to make sure you've got your documents and sort out all the other odds and ends. But I have been really focusing on being physically ready. And what I mean by that is that my body is ready to go. Rehearsals are a very demanding part of the job and I really enjoy the process, but I want to set myself up for success and make sure that I am in the best shape possible for rehearsals because we're gonna be working very long hours. We're gonna be on our feet a lot, in our skates, obviously. And I just wanna be in good shape and have good endurance as well. As you can probably assume, I want to start the morning with a workout, so I've got to throw my little workout set on. All right, today's gym fit, even though I'm not even going to the gym. <laughs> I'm working out at home, but this set isn't really a set, but I'm calling it that because it matches. So my biker shorts are from White Fox Boutique. And then I've got this little Halara top on. I wholeheartedly believe if you have cute workout clothes, you're going to be more motivated to exercise and I stand by that. But now it's time to do something about this hair. My hair is a disgusting mess. I need to wash it today. I figured since I'm washing it, I might as well put it into a slip back bun while I'm working out and use a hair mask. This is like one of my favorite life hacks because it's giving you two in one. I've also done this as like my hair for the entire day before. I've just let it sit in the hair mask and it's worked out great. So. This is the Bondi Boost Rapid Repair Hair Mask. You only need to keep this in your hair for 10 minutes, so it's not gonna hurt to have it in my hair a little bit longer while I'm working out. And we're basically just gonna let it marinate. good to go. Does it look perfect? No, but it'll work for my workout. When it comes to workouts, I really like to switch it up and try new things, but at the same time, I have like my classic go-to workout that I absolutely love. It gets me sweating and I feel really energized after it, so I'm going to show you my go-to workout that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. It's pretty much a full body workout with some dumbbells. These are eight pound weights. I've also got a resistance band. So it is full body. We're gonna be using lower body and upper body. And then I'm also gonna show you an ab circuit that I learned from an Instagram reel. I saw it online and I wanted to try it out and I've been loving it. So I'll link the creator who posted it, but um, I've been seeing good results from using her ab routine. Let's get into the workout. I've got to pop my sneakers on. These are my New Balance running sneakers. I love the color and I love the support they give my feet. And these are just like my go-to sneakers. So I wear them not just for running, but for other workouts as well. So. I'm gonna pop my AirPods in. I'm gonna put on a big booty mix and we're gonna get into it. To start out the workout, I wanted to do a bit of a warm up and make sure that my full body was really nice and warm before I picked up any weights. So I had five different exercises in mind. Each exercise I completed for one minute and then I repeated that circuit twice. So in total, it was a 10 minute cardio warm up. This one's pretty intense. If you guys try it, let me know. I love that it's a really quick warm up, but it gets you sweating, gets your heart rate up and it's very effective. Once I got into the workout, I was using a set of eight pound dumbbells as well as a resistance band. This resistance band in particular came as a set of three from Amazon and this is the medium resistance. I like this band the most for almost all the exercises that I do. 
My preferred way to work out is in sort of a hit circuit. So I like to do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So each exercise I repeated for 30 seconds, as many reps as possible, break for 10 seconds and prep for the next exercise. I also do these exercises in threes. So I pair three different exercises together. One circuit in total will take two minutes. And then I like to take a one minute break in between each circuit and repeat it two more times. So in total, you're gonna be completing each exercise for a minute and a half long. I did some abs to finish off this workout. These exercises are focused towards your lower belly and I've been seeing really good results from doing it for the last about three weeks. It is killer and it really gets me sweaty. It's such a good way to end the workout and I definitely recommend you try but it wasn't an original idea. I did find it on an Instagram reel, so I'll have the creator linked below. Finished the workout, did a little bit of stretching, and now I need to shower. I feel absolutely disgusting. It's so nice outside, so I definitely wanna take a nice long walk today, but we've got some work to do before that, so my plan is to shower, get ready, work for a little bit, and then take a break and go for a nice walk because I have to take advantage of this nice weather. <laughs> done my basic makeup look but I'm starving so let's go downstairs make a little bit of breakfast and then we will dry the hair running today. I nailed it. I could eat eggs every single meal of every day and never get sick of them. It's time to dry my hair. I love this little hair towel. Like I bring it with me everywhere. You can buy them on Amazon or pretty much wherever. But here is my hair still very wet. Um, I'm just going to put some heat protectant in it because obviously we're going to be using my hair dryer. I'm going to just brush this mane out real quick and then we will get started. Hair is prepped and ready to dry. Today I'm gonna to be using my Lifen SE High Speed Hair Dryer, and they are actually the sponsor of today's video, so a huge thank you to them. I used to hate blow drying my hair, but this has completely changed my opinion on it. I got it in the pink color because obviously I love pink. This hair dryer is definitely gonna be coming with me on the contract. Not only is it cute, it's lightweight, it's sleek, so it's super easy to travel with, and it does come with two different attachments. So it comes with this like sleek drying attachment, and it also comes with a diffuser attachment, which you guys know I have been trying to get more into my curly girl method, if you will. So I like to have the option of both. But the coolest thing about these nozzles is that it's actually magnetic. So you just attach it like this, it's magnetic, and there you go, it's that easy. This hair dryer also dries my hair incredibly fast. I have quite thick hair and it's very fine, so I have a lot of hair that I need to dry and it usually takes me forever, but this has sped up the process as well. I do not have a Dyson, but this is comparable to a Dyson and it's one third of the price, which is great. So if you're looking to get a Dyson hair dryer, but you don't want to spend that much money, let me introduce you. Another thing I hate about hair dryers is how loud they are, but this one is extremely quiet. I couldn't believe how quiet it is when I actually plug it in and I'm using it so it doesn't disrupt anyone around. Especially when you have roommates on a contract, you don't want to be bothering them with excessive noise. So this is going to be great for sharing a cabin. And another really cool feature about this hair dryer is that they have a patented four temperature light ring. So the color changes depending on the temperature. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to dry my hair and see how long it takes me. And just like that, we are done. My timer says five minutes and 55 seconds. So that is crazy. I feel like my hair always turns out frizzy and poofy whenever I blow dry my hair, but not anymore. 
so I'm very excited. I do want to compare the life in the sound of it versus just a regular hair dryer. So this is the life in and this is a regular hair dryer. Huge difference. I genuinely cannot believe how silky soft my hair feels and how shiny it looks. That's just crazy. Definitely, definitely recommend this hair dryer. If you guys want to try it for yourself, if you're interested in that, I will have all of the details in my description box as always. And once again, a huge thank you to Life and for sponsoring this video. It is time for my vitamins. I usually do this like first thing in the morning, but we didn't. So now we're getting to it now. I wanna share with you everything that I'm currently taking. Just recently, I started taking collagen and vitamin C as well as biotin plus keratin. I wanna take this for my hair, skin, and nails. Mainly my nails because the water on the ship always destroys them. So I've been taking an iron supplement. I also have my Ritual Essential for Women. I'm getting low on this stock, so I need to get some more. And then I was recently sent these gummy vitamins from Groons and they taste so good. I mean, I love a gummy vitamin. Let me just tell you, but these taste insane. And they support gut health, energy, immunity, cognition, beauty, and recovery. It came in this bag, so inside there's these individual packets. So you have one packet every single day. So I'm gonna take these, then I'm gonna make a coffee, and then I've gotta get moving with some work. taking a bit of a work break because my dad invited me to go hit some golf balls with him so we're gonna go to the driving range I've just thrown on this little activewear dress thought it was fitting and easy to throw on so I need to grab sunglasses and we are gonna be out the door I'm not very good at golf but I really enjoy the driving range so we'll see how it goes today You don't need a glove, right? No. I'll give you more when you need them. Thanks. Okay. Sweet. It's a good start. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to relearn how to actually make contact with the ball. The last time I came, I was with my dad, but we went to the dome, which is indoors. And I think that was like probably two years ago. So we'll see how this goes. back from the driving range. How was the driving range today? How do we do? For Jordan? Are we talking for Jordan Bell? For both of us. Jordan Michelle. Uh, for Jordan Michelle, very good. I would give her a eight to eight and a half Ooh, for today. That's a pretty good score. Yeah, considering it's been two years since she picked up a club and she's left-handed but she swings righty. Pretty quality. Thank you. And the prettiest girl on the range. <laughs> How did you do? Yeah, mons and mons. Mons and mons. It's time to make some lunch. I'm honestly not that hungry. I might make like a, a snacky sort of lunch, if you will. Dried mangoes are my favorite little sweet snack sort of situation because to me, they taste like dessert because they're so sweet, but they're just dried mango. Very tasty. Love them. This is 100% my hyperfixation lunch whenever I'm home. And it's the last couple days home, so I have to take advantage. Oh, toast is ready. I'm gonna put in a little longer. Anyways, we didn't have strawberries, but we had blackberries. So we're switching it up. I did vanilla Greek yogurt, granola, 
blackberries and a little bit of honey. We've also made myself a little piece of toast with peanut butter, half a banana, and a little bit more of that granola and honey drizzled on top. My mom bought these Bella V cans. I've never had it, but it sounds really good. It's just sparkling water, but the flavor's cherry lime. And I'm a big fan of cherry flavored beverages and really anything. So we're gonna give it a whirl. Yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna grab my laptop, bring this outside, and we are gonna do a little bit of work on the deck because the awning's up and my parents have just put all of the outdoor furniture out. So I have to take advantage of being outside as much as I can. It is 5.40 and I am headed to Emily's. I wanna see her one more time before I leave for my contract. So I'm gonna go over to her house. I think we're gonna make those cute little like charm necklaces. Um, brought my tools. We just gotta go to Hobby Starting Lobby room. and then we might get some takeout. So it's gonna be a nice girls evening. Okay, let me texture. I'm gonna put on some bangers and we're gonna, we're gonna jam out while we drive. My girls! Emily! I thought we were gonna make bracelets. I feel all bracelets. Oh, well, you can make a bracelet. I might do bracelets. I'm not the bracelets are cute friend. too. We need like the actual chains. Hmm. Yes, that's what we need. I'll make a necklace. They don't have that many though. What the heck? We could also check out. Oh, well they have two of those. We can also go to Joanne's if we, if we don't get enough here. to Joann's and Michael's. We got our chains, we've got our charms, and we got dinner. I got core life. So I got the, it was like chicken and Thai and rice noodles, something like that, but healthy and tasty, and we're starving. It's time to make our little jewelry, and two of my other friends from college came over to see me, who I haven't seen in probably two years. Paul and Brian. Do you want me to no, it's fine. Hopefully it turns out well. I've got my little pliers. You just had these? I've always been the kid that loves crafts and like artsy stuff, but I couldn't find the pliers. But yeah, I used to make jewelry. On the vlog again! Welcome back to Buffalo, even though you've been here for like weeks. Share his own din on the Celtics game. I just gotta put his hat on. There you go. I finished my necklace. This took me longer than it should have, but it looks cute. It is 10.35, I've just gotten home. Oh my gosh, it was such a fun evening. I'm so grateful for the quality time that we had together. Emily is one of my very, very best friends, my best friend from college, and we always just have such a nice time together. It's Working on a cruise ship is such a great job for so many reasons, but the hardest thing is being away from all of your friends and just the amount of time that I have in between contract is never seems like enough just because you want to spend all of that quality time with your friends and your family. So I wish we had more time together, but it is just part of the job. Regardless, we had such a fun night together. I was not expecting Brian or Paul to show up. So they're also really good friends from college that I have not seen in forever. So it was really nice that they came over to see me and we all just hung out and it was just a lot of fun. It was a good evening. I got home a little bit later than I expected, but it's totally okay. I'm just gonna get ready for bed now and then I'm gonna crawl into bed, read it for a little bit and call it a night. But in any case, it's been a great day, very eventful day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this day in my life. We are getting down there, guys. It is so close to my next contract, and I can't believe it. So I'm just trying to soak in every single day while I'm home. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here every single video. I appreciate your support so much. My channel would not be what it is today without all of your love and support. So huge thank you to all of you. But with that, it's time to get ready for bed.
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.